Hello everyone, welcome to Cloud Sham. In this video, we are going to talk about AWS certifications. So I'm going to explain the complete roadmap of the certifications, which one is best for you, which one should you choose first, how much training would you need, and what are the different resources that you can use to achieve your AWS certifications. So watch this video till the end and let's start. So before we start with the video, if you haven't subscribed to Cloud Champ yet, please subscribe. I post videos on AWS, Cloud and DevOps tools like Docker, Terraform, Ansible. So please subscribe and also check out my LinkedIn. I post notes and resources on my LinkedIn. So if you want, you can connect with me on LinkedIn. And let's start with the AWS certifications. So at the time of recording, AWS has 12 certification. One foundational, three associate certifications, two professionals and six specialty certifications. So we are going to talk about each of them, which one should you approach first, depending on your experience, depending on your job role. So before we understand which one should you do first, let's see why do we actually need AWS certification. To help you understand that, I'm going to just type top paying certifications. And if I search that, you can see AWS is at the top. So AWS Certified Solutions Architect Professional, Solutions Architect Associate, Specialty. So this helps us understand that AWS certification are in demand. If you have your certifications along with some projects, uh, you will easily get a job in cloud domain. So I have seen people who have certifications get, getting job easier than those who does not have. Even in my experience, I can say I got a job maybe due to some certifications and along with my projects. So certifications can help you get a job. It does not guarantee that it will get you a job, but it help you if you have some hands-on knowledge and some proof. So let's start with the first certification, which is AWS Cloud Practitioner, also known as AWS CCP. So this Cloud Practitioner is a foundational certification, and this is recommended for people and professionals who wants to learn how cloud operates and all the basic knowledge. So AWS Certified Practitioner offers a foundational understanding of cloud concepts, services and terminology. You will understand what is scalability, what is reliability, what is availability. All those cloud concepts can be cleared when you give this sound foundational exam. Who should take this exam? This is for someone who is from non-IT background and all the sales, marketing and business analytics people can take this exam which will help them understand the AWS cloud and how the cloud actually works. So what you will learn with it in this certification so you will get the basic understanding of IT services and their uses on AWS cloud and you will also know about the core AWS services at a high level overview so for this exam you do not need any hands-on only theory and I would recommend you so I would recommend you to have around two to three months of study for this you can easily give this in one month if you try uh, so Earlier AWS was recommending you to have six months of experience, but now it says no prior experience, which is true. You can easily give this exam if you study for like one or two months. There is one of the AWS training on skill builder, which is an excellent resource you can use to prepare for this exam. So that is foundational certification for you. Uh, next is associate certification. There are three associate certifications, solutions architect, developer associate and sysops associate. So solutions architect associate is someone who wants to become solutions architect in future. He can give this certification for someone who wants to become a developer or someone who is actually creating or developing applications on AWS should give this exam. Next you have sysops administrator associates. And this is for someone who is working as a sysop admin or Linux admin and have good knowledge of that can give the exam, can give this exam. So associate certifications are role based certification that showcase your knowledge and skills on AWS and also build your credibility as an AWS professional. So to give this exam, AWS recommends you to have a prior cloud or IT experience. I would say around uh, six months to one year of experience can easily help you give all these certifications. They are not uh, difficult, but they require you to have good hands on knowledge because the questions in the exam are more scenario based and you can answer them only if you have done the hands on. If I show you this roadmap here to give AWS Solutions Architect, you can choose to give this up practitioner exam or you can skip it you can directly give the solutions architect associate or developer associate or sysops associate you do not need to have cloud practitioner first before giving the associate but if you ask me i would recommend you to give this practitioner exam first 
and then give the solutions architect associate why am i saying this because i have seen people i have seen my friends who directly give the associate exams without giving foundational and they fail the exam because they don't have the idea of how the questions would be how the structure of the exam would be how much time would it take for me to complete a single question so if you give the foundational you have the idea and you know the timing because for associate you have around 65 questions which in 90 minutes so you need to complete all the 65 questions in 90 minutes and the questions are long so you cannot adjust your time correctly so i would recommend you to first give the foundational exam and then give the associate one which will help you gain the certification without failing because i know how it feels when you fail the exam so this is associate certification for you it might you can you can choose uh, you can study for around 6 months to 1 year and you can easily clear all these three certifications i have seen people who have cleared all these three certification in less than 3 months so if you have good knowledge uh, you can easily clear this next we have is the professional certification and these certifications are also role based certification so if you are working as a solutions architect or if you want to work as a solutions architect you can give this exam uh, same for devops engineer if you are someone who is working in devops uh, can give this exam but trust me this is not easy you need to study you need to do intense hands on to complete this certifications so if you are thinking of sitting in this exam you should first have associate certifications so for solutions architect professional you should have solutions architect associate exam and if you are sitting for devops engineer professional you should have either developer associate or sysops admin associate exam to give this professional level certification So AWS recommends you to have 2 years of experience creating and building stuff on AWS cloud if you want to give this professional level certification. So because this is one of the toughest exam in AWS certification, so prepare thoroughly and you can use the same resources, you can use Udemy courses by Stephen Merrick or Neil Davis or you can use and you can also use practice test by John Bonso. Uh, if you want you can let me know and I'll provide you with the links. next you have on the list is the specialty exams so this six, six specialty exams are given by aws uh, for professionals who are in different domains for example if you are someone who is good in networking who is good with subnets routing and firewalls for all of these you can give aws advanced networking specialty exam next you also have you also have data analytics if you are someone who works on data a uh, data scientist data analytics you can give this exam you also have database specialty for all the database administrator you can give this database specialty exam you have machine learning security and the newly aws certification which is sap on aws so this six specialty exams uh, are for someone who who are good in all these different domains and aws recommends you to have 5 years of experience if you want to give this exam which is totally optional if you can also have 2 years of experience but if you are good with them and you are and you are sure that you can clear this exam you can sit for the specialty exam this specialty exam requires you to have either cloud practitioner or associate level certification you can directly give specialty after giving your cloud practitioner but it requires you to have either cloud practitioner or associate level if you want to sit for this specialty exam So this was the approach if you are completely new start with cloud practitioner if you have good knowledge maybe 6 months or 1 year of knowledge sit for the associate level certification you can prepare for all of them at at once or you can give solutions architect first then developer then sysops or in any order you want once you complete the associate if you want to go ahead and do more certifications you can opt for the professional level certification this professional level certification requires you to have Two years of not two years of prior, but I have friends who have given them in less than one year of experience. If you are very good with AWS, you can give this professional exam. But trust me, this is not easy. So prepare and do a practice test before going with this certification. Next, you have specialty six specialty exams uh, for different domains depending on your job role. Uh, so these are all the certifications. So now let's discuss how can you prepare for this certifications and how can you pass them. So AWS recommends you to read the white papers and go through the skill builder courses. So I would not recommend you to do the white papers. They might help but they are very boring. So I skipped the white papers but you can check out skill builder which is an AWS platform 
uh, and they have a lot of amazing courses. I used the AWS Cloud Practitioner Essential courses. I used this course to pass my AWS CCP exam, uh, which is good. But if you want to go ahead with the associate and professional, I would recommend you to spend some money and go with the Udemy courses. So you can choose to learn from Stefan Marek, which is an excellent instructor. Uh, he has courses on AWS associate certifications and professional as well as some specialty certifications. You can also take the practice test by Tutorials Dojo, which is an excellent resource. It can help you understand what questions can be asked in the real exam. So practice test and Udemy courses can easily uh, help you pass. But just remember that when you sit, when you do these courses, make sure you are doing the hands on along with the instructor. And do these courses twice, thrice, unless you have good idea of what the service is and you are good to give the exam because I hope you don't want, because I know you don't want to waste your money. So you can give, you can use AWS Skill Builder, you can uh, use Udemy courses, you can also read white papers if you want uh, and you can also connect with me on LinkedIn because post uh, notes and resources for all these certifications and some DevOps tools. So connect with me on LinkedIn. So this was all we have discussed the roadmap to roadmap for AWS certifications. How can you prepare for them? Why do you actually need to be certified and what are the benefits of getting certified? So this is all. I hope you understood the video and I am so happy and I'm so happy that our YouTube is growing and we are very close to 2000 subscriber. So please subscribe to my YouTube and comment down if you have any questions regarding the AWS certification regarding DevOps jobs or anything uh, comment down and I will be there to help you. So subscribe to my channel. Thank you and have a good day.